Let's see an example of why, how, how would you actually use a THP ether as a protecting group. This is just an example, but let's, uh, let's say we have this molecule. And what I really want to do is I want to convert this bromide into a Grignard. And I want to use that Grignard to do a nucleophilic addition to something else. So I want to make this Grignard. But of course we know Grignards are really equivalent to carbanions. And if, if you made this carbanion, you know, this is a very strong base, in addition to be a strong nucleophile. And now we have this alcohol, which is an acidic proton, and if we try to form this strong base in the presence of the acidic proton, we're going to get proton transfers, and we're, we're not going to get what we think we're, what we hope to get. So we need to do something to get rid of this acidic proton. This OH on the left here is going to cause this problem. So what can we do? Well, let's block that OH with a THP group. So to make a THP ether, we simply react our alcohol with... Um, this molecule is called dihydropyran and sulfuric acid or some other sufficiently strong acid. And what we get is this on the molecule. Now I might, I might write this differently. I might just write THP a little more concise. or just OTHP, uh, not even aligned to THP. So now we've protected our alcohol. We've taken its acidity out of the picture, and now we are free to react this with magnesium in an aprotic solvent like ether. Got to avoid the acidic protons. And we can readily make our Grignard. And now we have this nucleophilic carbon down here. We can use it to attack other carbonyls, do whatever we need. But we need to remember, once we're done, we are going to need to deprotect this THP group. And how do we deprotect a THP group? Well, a THP is an acetal. And we can remove acetal groups by treating something simply with water and acid. So here's an example of how sometimes alcohols have these slightly acidic protons that get in the way of other chemistry. And if we need to hide the acidity of that proton, we can cap it off as something called a THP ether, which is really just a fancy acetal. And then we can remove that group later once we're done doing the, the sensitive chemistry.